Hello and welcome to this mod tutorial for Applied Energy 6.2. Make sure to read the video description for all information about the game version and mod version and what mods I have loaded. In this video I will go through the first steps of AE2. I will go through the ore generation and uh, how to grind things. I will move on with seeds and the crystals, how to grow seeds into crystals and also the principle of accelerating that process. I will go through some basic items that are required to, uh, to build accelerator and I will touch upon the power system for AE2 as well. Let's get started with the ore. If you played with Applied Energy Sticks before, you recognize a certain quartz. But a difference to the old one is that you won't get any dust from, from breaking it. You will get that when, from grinding instead, but we'll come to that in just a little while. We also have the charged quartz Certus Quartz. It, sometimes you can use it instead of normal Certus Quartz, but check your recipe in NEI for example for more information. And of course we have the Vanilla Nether Quartz as well. Sometimes you can use any type of Quartz in the recipe, but from time to time there will be requirements on this specific kind, so just check the recipe in NEI, as I said. Let's start with the quartz grindstone. With this machine you will grind your quartz into dust and you will grind ores into dust to double the outcome, so it's a multi-use block. But at, in this mod, I, in this mod tutorial, I will only grind dust. So let's take one of those. To operate it, you need a wooden crank. Simple as that. Place the, the grindstone and the crank on top of it, and now you're ready to grind items into dust. Now, when we have some quartz, we are ready to make some fluix crystals. Let's grab some redstone and place yourself next to a pool of water. Throw one piece of redstone, one nether quartz and one piece of charged surface quartz. And in just a few seconds you will have a pair of fluix crystals. We can actually do a few of these. And this is, of course, this is not a process that we will accelerate later because it's quite, quite fast as it is. So let's go to the grindstone. In our next step, we will need to grind three types of quartz into dust. The surface sort quartz, the nether quartz and the fluix crystal. Just crank it and dust will appear in the output slot. So just one more to go. Like so. Now we have all three types of quartz dust or two types of quartz dust and one fluix dust. So let's move on to the seeds. To make a seed, you will have to combine one piece of sand to, with one, one type of dust. So flux dust and one sand will give you two fluix seeds. And the same thing with the nether quartz dust and to get seeds and the surface quartz. You can see there's a percentage on the seed and that means how far it has come in the growing process and I will show you exactly what that means. 
down here we will use the pool of water as we did when we made the flux crystal but this process is very slow now i mixed them up it doesn't matter i had already a few seeds since before down there this is a very slow process and this is not the way you will do it unless you have <laughs> if you are very low on resources and uh, perhaps you will do this for just your first couple of crystals if you now pick this up you can see that we still we are still at 0% and these are the other ones that were already in the pool of water they are at 55% but they have been there for a long long time perhaps one hour or so so this is not how we'll do it this will take too long time so let's grab grab everything to make things faster we need the crystal growth accelerator and to make this you will need some other parts some other items let's start on this side with the quartz glass you make it with normal glass and dust and here you can use some different types of of uh, quartz dust doesn't really matter so let's grab some and you also need these to make the quartz fiber so let's grab a few from here next step is to make the ME glass cable as you can see we use the quartz fiber from last step with fluix crystals of any kind and standard glass now we have almost everything we need we just need some fluix crystals and turn them into a fluix block place it together with iron and the quartz glass and this will give you the crystal growth accelerator quite easy to get but it will require 8 ae per tick to run so now we're getting into the power part on this side i have prepared the setup to craft the vibration chamber this will produce 10 ae per tick when you burn for example coal in it like a furnace but before we can craft it with a simple recipe we need to craft the energy acceptor also a very simple recipe but and this will be used to transform build craft or industrial craft or thermal expansion rotary craft power into ae power so now we can craft the vibration chamber with that one Vib vibration chamber connect it to the crystal growth accelerator that we crafted on the other side of the wall use an me glass cable if you want to you don't have to you can place it on top an easy way to move them around is to craft the wrench there are two types from nether quartz or surface quartz and you simply shift right click to move to dismantle things if you would like to do that for example so let's load it with coal it starts to burn and the accelerator goes from offline to online now we can throw our seeds in here so the fluix and the nether quartz and and the certus so we'll let that run it will still take a while it's of course much much faster than the than uh, just having a pool of water let's see if we can get anything 
yeah we're already six and eight percent so of course much faster but we can combine them like I have done here we can use four of them together so this means that we will have 40 AE per tick and here I placed five accelerators and since they require eight that means 40 in total and they are just connected with ME glass cable here in between I have an energy cell this is a way to store energy when it's not used and we have the recipe over here quite simple dust and any time type of certus quartz here you can see the result from growing certus quartz into pure certus quartz they will look slightly different and they are they are equ equivalent in uh, how you use them and if you remember we got two seeds from one crystal when we grinded it into dust and combined it with sand so basically we doubled the outcome when growing them in, uh, in water instead of just using them let's take a quick look at how things are going yeah for almost halfway but let's step it up and try it with five can you use these they are at 55% roughly throw them in and we can see that devices are online and things should go pretty quick in here let's check <laughs> yeah they seem to be almost finished let's do a final check they are in the last stage of growing and we can almost see them getting bigger by the just by looking at them so that's basically all the first steps that we need to know to get going with AE2 I hope everything was clear and if you have any questions to this part feel free to leave a comment and don't be shy to ask. In the next tutorial I will make in AE2 I will start with, with what you need to know to build a, an ME network. Oh, we are already done. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.